What the hell happened? The blob happened. Now get up and make yourself useful. Buy me, Summers. No one can stop me! <laughs> Logan, I need a distraction. What kind of distraction? Fastball special. But Pete's not even... <sighs> He's behind me, isn't he? The... Oh, crap. Oh, crap is right. Stand down. You've bought her enough time. Glad I could help. Gene, take him down. What's happening to me? <laughs> Okay, people, welcome back to another Foosh review. Today, let's take a little look at the Hasbro Marvel Legends X-Men 60 Years Deluxe Blob. Yes, I splurged a little and bought this from CMD Store in Canada. I needed that X-Men fix. I'm waiting on those three packs. I'm waiting on the Chad Wave with Astonishing Emma and Cyclops. And I was waiting for this. And I thought, you know what? Just one won't hurt, right? Just a little taste. I need some X-Men. And here it is, the blob. I have a render on the front with some artwork in the background. More art on the side. There's another digital render on the back. The accessories. Warning, small parts better not be. I want my blob round and big, especially when I'm throwing a gig. Still don't put them in your mouth. On the other side, oh, I like that just straight up and down, add attention. On the top, 60 years, da -da. Dun -dun 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 -dun. On the bottom, legalese, plastic free packaging, UPC. Anyway, let's get this open. Look everybody, he's cutting away from himself. Release the prisoner. And look at this big bundle of joy. Now I've never had a problem with the first blob figure. It fits the bill, but you have to work around things like the lack of knees, the arms just kind of stick out there. If that's your look for blob, have at it. But as soon as I saw this, I thought, Oh, hell yeah. This is getting replaced. I mean, look how natural the new skin tones are. It just looks so much better overall. There's a natural feel to the freckles on the skin. It's so well done. It's noticeable, but it's also subtle. And that kicks in at the legs too, all the way around, and even up at the face. And while we're here, just bathe in this glory because this is an awesome sculpt. The hair has a nice wash to it, the photo reel eyes, the slightly angry eyebrows even on the neutral face. I love it. We've been seeing this lately, the lips slightly darker. Well, I guess it's not as dark as some of the others we've seen, but it's still noticeable until you get back here and get the over. Okay. That's not a complaint. It looks pretty good. The costume has a lot of detail to it too. When I first saw it, I thought, okay, that blue gray is going to be smooth, but you get up close and there's actually a very faint texture to it. Kind of eggshell. Then there's extra detail sculpted to the yellow banding too. Like it's an actual nylon material or something. It just, it's a little itty bitty thing that you have to get right up on to notice, but it adds so much to the overall piece, especially since it's a dude in a spandex onesie. At the boots, there's some slight wrinkles. Again, that banding around the top, but then this costume detail on the shoulders is smooth and i don't know if that's to set it apart from the rest of the yellow or it's a different material it's meant to be something different whatever it being smooth it's easier to see that the yellow paint didn't really cover as much as it could have it kind of bunched up at the plastic seam running across a little rough in places but you really have to look at it again a simple design but nicely executed even more so with the implementation of the articulation again going back to the first blob there's no knees there are some ankles on a ball joint the arms don't go down to the sides it, they just kind of jut out there. You have to fake it by bringing it around to here. That happens when you're moving it around. Same thing with the feet. You get too crazy, they pop off. The head was just a swivel. That's a character with a lot of bulk to him, but it seems to go here and then droop down. It still has some empty space in places. This fills out the silhouette. There's still some weight here, but the arms go down to the sides. The legs go straight up and down while still giving you some posability. The head being set up like it is goes down into the body and it's fairly seamless while still giving you a hell of a lot of movement the elbows are pretty noticeable being this thick running all the way down to the cuff but that's because it's a single hinge that's to give you eh, slightly past 90 movement also out of the package those were tight as hell same thing with the ankles there's not detents to it it's just tight in fact you can see a ledge right there where you bring it up it kicks kind of into that sculpt work, but then it goes past. And you see another ledge right there. In between, I think it's pretty smooth. In fact, I'm having trouble with my right foot doing a lot of articulating. It's moving, it's not stuck. I just can't get it past this. Oh, 
<laughs> okay. Woo. There you go. It goes past that point now. I don't know exactly what the deal is. I understand them wanting to have the ankles tight with this much weight on top of them, but whoo, that is very tight. Since we're talking articulation, there is a dumbbell joint. Oh no, it's a ball on a peg just to raise it up a little bit. So all that movement is just on the ball joint. Even with that single ball, you look up, there's some down. This makes me super happy though. Way more tilt than I expected. Left and right. In fact, you can go any direction, diagonal, wherever. Pin coming out to the shoulder, rotates all the way around and then hinges up to about right there. Hinge and swivel at the elbow brings you a little past 90 and then in and out. The wrist is another tight joint with a hinge that goes in and out along with a pin for rotation. Dumbbell in the mid torso gets you some crunch, some arc back, some tilt, some tilt, rotation. Ball at the hip allows for this and back and out. Oh shit, that's better than some Spider-Mans. Swivel at the thigh. Hinge at the knee goes up to oh, about 45. And I thought it rotated. It may have a little rotation, but the way it's sculpted, it gets in the way. That's what the thigh joint's for. Again, very tough hinge at the ankle goes back, goes forward. Then there's front facing pin for rocker. For accessories, in the package there's a right fist and a left open hand and that should just pop right out and you can swap in a gripping right hand and a fist left hand like i showed a minute ago the head pops right off that ball and there's an alternate screaming head now i'm not one to display open mouths but this is so well done at first i thought it was an extra piece behind the face to give the tongue and the teeth its own individual sculpt and paints and then i looked under there's no space, but it still looks like there's a gap right there. So maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I don't know. I just know that it looks really, really good, but it almost looks like two different versions of the character. Maybe it's the hairstyle. Oh, in fact, yeah, this is much more shaved underneath. This one has sideburns and goes down further in the back. Options are not bad, especially for action poses. Who would have ever thought we'd get a blob that can do a full on running pose. There's also a lot to be said about a good looking neutral pose. And again, this figure nails that. Blob stands almost exactly eight inches to the top of the hair, which gives them some size over your standard X-Men like the old Bucky Cat body Cyclops and the new X-Men 275 training uniform Wolverine. Fits right in with some X-Men villains like Silver Samurai or Sabretooth while still standing out, just as intimidating as other big bads like Apocalypse and Juggernaut. But this is what we're all going for, right? There's been many versions of the Brotherhood, but this is my version. Well, okay, we still need one more character and then I'll call it finished. And no, I didn't forget this either. They stand about the same height, but now that I'm looking at them side by side, well, okay, this one definitely has a little more bulk to it, but this is so much cleaner and agile. This will do ya, but for my shelf, oh, this is it. So at the end of the day, look at that. This blob can balance on one foot, which is amazing, but it's not just that. It's the shape, it's the sculpt, it's the paint, it's the presence. This blob kicks ass. Do I regret paying a little extra to get this now from Canada? Y yeah, a little bit, but that happens every time I get impatient and, oh, I need a new figure and I need that one and I need it now. But at the same time, man, I am so happy to have this damn thing. It's another super nicely done X-Men villain. <laughs> it's me right here. Like I said, we are zeroing in on my perfect version of the Brotherhood. And man, give me destiny. Come on.